warning for people pretending to be me in the comments. This is what a comment from me looks like. Notice that the name is spelled perfectly and notice the border around the name. That's how you know it's from me. You can also click on my name to make sure you actually go to my channel to double check. And this is what a comment from an imposter will look like. It has weird characters in the name or comment and it's usually going to ask you to add them on WhatsApp or Telegram. I don't have WhatsApp or Telegram and I would never ask you to add me on there. All right, so please be careful, use your common sense, and now let's get back to the video. Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here. And guys, have you heard of Alephium? It is this new coin that you can mine on your GPUs and it's, at least currently, actually really profitable. And what's new is that T-Rex Miner has just added support so that you can mine Alephium in T-Rex Miner. And more than that is that they've added a way to unlock 100% of your LHR GPU's full mining potential using a new kind of dual mining mode where you mix Ethereum with Alephium, but in a new way. So that is what we're gonna take a look at in this video. We're gonna look at how to mine Alephium, how to dual mine Alephium with Ethereum on LHR GPU's, as well as hash rates, overclocks, profitability, and all that stuff. So that's what's coming up. So this is the rig we're going to be testing this on today and this is my mixed LHR rig that has literally every kind of LHR GPU on it. Well, except for the 3050, but I don't think a lot of you have 3050s for mining anyway, so we should be good. If you want an introduction to what the Alphium project is, then there's actually a really good video about that here on YouTube on the GPURises.com channel. So what I'll do is I leave a link for that in the description of this video. But now quickly before we get started on how to mine Alphium, I just want to talk a little bit about this new 100% hash rate unlock for LHR GPUs in T-Rex using this whole Alphium Ethereum dual mining situation. So. Basically, for those of you who might be new to mining, just really quickly, a few months ago, NVIDIA implemented this LHR uh, mining limiter, which basically slashes the mining ability of their GPUs, which we call their hash rate, uh, in half. And since then, mining software like T-Rex, which we're gonna have a look at today, has been able to you know, partially unlock that. So we're at about 74% hash rate now on Ethereum. And what this new mode does in T-Rex with dual mining Alphium is that if you're just willing to slightly step down from 74% hash rate on Ethereum to 68%, then it unlocks the full remaining 32% of your GPU for Alphium mining. So basically you're going from using 74% of your GPU to a 100%, which is excellent. Now T-Rex has had a different dual mining LHR unlock for a while that lets you mine 30% Ethereum and 70% of a different coin. So percentage is kind of flipped there that now you can mine 70% Ethereum and 30% Alphium. So that is kind of wild in my opinion that we can get the full 100% now with 70% being Ethereum. So let's have a look at how to mine Alphium first and then how to do that dual mining LHR unlock. All right guys, so just a quick exciting announcement here before we get started with the video and that is that I have enabled memberships on the channel here and you can join by just hitting the little join button that'll be below this video and it'll be one on my channel page as well. Now, if you don't wanna do this, no worries, nothing's gonna change. It's just that a lot of you have been asking me for it, so I have enabled it. And if you do choose to join the channel, then just know that it actually does make a big difference, especially with how much time and effort I can put into my videos. So thank you very much if you do choose to join, I really do appreciate it, but now, Let's get on with the video. To mine Alphium or more or less any other coin like that, what you need is three things. You need a wallet, you need a mining pool, and you need a mining software, which we're gonna use T-Rex today. And if you are already aware of how to download and set up a mining software like T-Rex, then you can jump to this time in this video. And if you're also familiar with how to sort of download and set up a wallet and you're familiar with mining pools, then you can jump to this part in the video. But if not, then let's get started. All right, so let's start by downloading the mining software T-Rex Miner. And you do that by going to Google and just typing in T-Rex Miner. And what I always recommend is because there'll be a lot of like lookalike sites that, you know, makes you think you're downloading T-Rex, but actually you're downloading a virus or something is you go to the official Bitcoin talk forum thread for T-Rex Miner. And you can know that it's the real one because it has like 99 pages of replies there. Then you just scroll down and it will give you the official download link there. 
so you can just click on that and you'll go to their official GitHub page here where you can download it for either Linux or Windows. So we're gonna download it for Windows, but there's one crucial step you need to do before then, and that is if you have antivirus or just in normal Windows security, you need to make an exception for the path you're gonna download this to because a lot of mining softwares will be falsely flagged as malware when they're actually not. So how to do that in just Windows security is you come down here, you type Windows security, open that then you go to virus and threat protection then you hit virus and threat protection settings manage settings scroll down exclusions and then you hit add an exclusion folder and you select the folder that you're going to be downloading it to hit select folder now as you can see i've already done that here so i don't need to do it again so now we're back here on github and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to right click on the windows download here and i'm going to say save link as and I'm gonna put that in my miners folder where I made the exclusion. So hit save, and that's gonna download really quickly. I'm gonna open that folder, right click, extract all, and there that is. And here we got our T-Rex miner. The second thing we need is the Alephium wallet to actually store our coins in. So what we do is we go to the official Alephium website, alephium.org, and then we just scroll way, way down here. And here under the usability section, there's a link called get the wallet. So we're gonna click on that. And that brings you to their official, um, you know, Alephium GitHub page. And if we just scroll down here, we can download the wallet for our operating system. So for us, that is going to be the Windows executable. So again, just right click, save link as, and I'm just gonna put that in my minor folder for now. And what happened for me here is it says that, you know, it's uh, not commonly downloaded and make sure you trust it. So I'm just gonna hit the little buttons here and say keep, show more, keep anyway. And there we go. So now I'm gonna go to that folder here and I'm gonna open the wallet up. You might get another warning like this and you need to say run anyway. And I will install the Alephium wallet just like this. And when you get there, this is what you're greeted with. Now, first thing I can see is I wanna do night mode rather than day mode. And then I'm just gonna click new wallet. And here you just fill in your account name, your password and retype your password. So I'm gonna do that now and then I'm gonna click on continue and I'll show you what happens when you do that. Okay, so on the next page here, it's gonna give you two things. It's gonna give you your wallet address here, as well as your secret phrase. Now, I'm not gonna show you this because it's mine, but you will get something like this and you need to write down and keep all of these secret phrase words because that is how you can recover your wallet basically. Once you've done that, you just hit I've copied the words, continue. and it's gonna check if you've got your words correct. So you hit ready, and then you need to enter the words back in in the correct order here. So I'm just gonna do that, and then I'll show you what happens next. And once you've entered all of the words in the correct order like this, you see a great job, remember to keep those words safe, and then you hit continue, and then it says everything is ready. You get some confetti here. Welcome to Alephium. Thank you very much, let's go. So then you can see you got your wallet here, you got your total balance. And the last thing you need to do here is just go show address and it will show you your like mining address here, your, your wallet address here. And you just copy that for later, hit copy address. And that's about it. And the final thing we need is a mining pool. Now a mining pool is basically a way for lots of miners to get together and mine together and then share all of the mining rewards. And that is a good idea to do if you are a smaller miner because it basically means that you take luck out of the equation of mining. So to pick a mining pool, what I usually do is I come to this website which is miningpoolstats.stream and then I just look up the coin here. So we are gonna do Alephium today. And you can see here the list of all the, you know, available Alephium pools. 
And for this, I like to go with the second biggest one, which is Hero Miners. So I'm just gonna click on that. And here we can see a little bit like the different stats for Hero Miners uh, Alephium Pool. And up here, you can click the Start button. And here is all of the kind of information that you need to get this set up in your T-Rex mining software. So speaking of that, let's get this all set up and mining, shall we? Oh, and just for reference, this is what I'm getting mining just Ethereum with the sort of 74% uh, partial unlocker. So about 440 mega hash at about 1270 watts of power consumed. To mine Alphium, we just need to open our T-Rex miner uh, folder here. And what is very convenient is that there is actually a Alphium preset here in the folder for Hero Miner's pool. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna right click on that, hit edit. And then of course Windows might greet you with a dialog like this. You just hit more info, run anyway. And this is where you're gonna put all of your information. So first of all, this string here, this is just the default miner wallet here. So what you gotta do is you gotta open your Alphium wallet and hit the show address button and copy the address here. And then you just paste that in here. Now I'm just gonna leave this with the default miner wallet for now. And then the second thing you need to do is enter the mining pool address here. So to find that, we just go back to Hero Miners here. And here you can see the different mining servers. So what you wanna do is you just wanna pick the one that is physically closest to you and copy that. And then you can see here the port is 1199. So as we can see here in the example, they've chosen the German Alephium pool on Hero Miners and they've entered the pool 1199. So if you need to change this to a different one, that is where you'll do that. But for me, I'll just keep it on the default German one for now. Oh, and here you can also name your rig something if that is what you want. So you could name it rig zero, for example, which is what they've done here. And that is basically it. Now you just need to close this. Well, save it first, save, then close, and then you should be able to just double click on this and you're up and mining Alphium. It is really that simple. And to keep sort of track of how much you are mining, what you can do is copy your Alephium wallet address. Then just come to the Hero Miners pool here, hit the home button up there, then scroll down and enter your address here. Hit look up and now here you can see what your current hash rate is, what your you know share submitted, and as well as your pending balance, your total paid balance, and so on. So that is how you keep track of how much you've been mining. And then of course, you're also gonna start seeing the actual coins show up in your wallet after a while. And we can see here, without any sort of power limiting or overclocking, we're getting around 12 and a half giga hash on these LHR cards mining just Alephium uh, at a power consumption of around 1890 watts or so. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close this and we'll look into the dual mining option. So to dual mine Alephium with Ethereum, you basically just need to follow the steps we already did for Alephium, but you need to do them for Ethereum as well. So you, you're gonna need a Ethereum wallet and an Ethereum mining pool. Now, for the Ethereum wallet, there are very many out there. Uh, one example is Exodus, which is kind of nifty and has a mobile app that you can use as well. And as for finding a mining pool, basically just go to minerpoolstats.stream again and find a Ethereum mining pool. For example, Ethermine or Flexpool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here and handy for us, there is actually a preset for dual mining Alephium with Ethereum. So we're just gonna right click on that and hit edit. And basically it is the same procedure here. We enter first the miner pool address for our Ethereum pool here, as well as the port. Then we enter our Ethereum wallet address here. Then we enter our Alephium mining pool address here as well as the port for that. And then finally, we enter our Alephium wallet address here. And that is basically all you need to do. Then you just save, close it, 
and double click it to run and just like that we are up and dual mining ethereum with alephium but now what you might want to do is actually overclock your gpus to both power limit them and also get the best um, performance out of them that you can so if you're new to mining i have a video guide showing you the full process for how to overclock a gpu to find the perfect settings for your specific gpu and i'll link that up in the card there as well as in the description of this video but what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna mess around with this a little bit and see depending on the you know overclock settings that you have for just ethereum what do you need to change in order to get the best result mining alephium as well so i'll do that now and i'll also show you what the final overclock settings i have for all my lhr cards are all right so basically what i have found you know testing different overclocking approaches here for dual mining is that if you just use your same ethereum overclocking settings specifically with a locked core clock basically what you're getting is you're getting the full like 68 percent ethereum hash rate or actually even a little bit more in my case i'm getting like almost 70 percent of the full ethereum hash rate at the same power draw plus an additional like 327 mega hash on alephium uh, for my 3070 here so what i have done is i've just written down what my sort of base ethereum overclock settings are for all different uh, lhr gpus here now take these with a grain of salt these should just be sort of rough ballpark numbers you should not just copy these straight off you should follow my guide that i linked earlier in the video but use these as kind of rough ballpark numbers and yeah with that in place i'm just gonna run all of my gpus with these overclock settings and let's see what we get on all of them okay so here you can see the hash rates we are getting dual mining ethereum with alephium here so you can see the individual hash rates we're getting on all of the gpus here for both ethereum and alephium uh, we're getting around 408 mega hash total on ethereum and around 2.85 giga hash on alephium so let's put that into what to mine and see kind of what the profitability for that is as of today so let's start with what we were getting on ethereum before dual mining which was a little bit more so then we got 430 mega hash at 1450 watts so let's calculate that and we can see that with current profitability that would give us around 14 dollars and 79 cents um, when factoring in power cost of 10 cents per kilowatt hour so then let's look at our ethereum mining profits with dual mining so we got a little bit less there we got 408 mega hash a second at around 1200 watts so let's calculate that and that gives us 14 dollars and 44 cents per day in profit after 10 cents per kilowatt hour electricity factored in so 14.44 versus 14.79 so really not a massive cut in terms of ethereum profitability there but we are of course gaining 2.85 giga hash on alephium so let's just calculate what that looks like profitability wise as of today and yeah we can see here for each 24 hours that is currently another four dollars and 30 cents per day now of course especially mining new coins like alephium profitability can go up and down wildly and it is after all a speculative mining move but from my perspective it's a pretty safe one because you are really not you know sacrificing much in terms of ethereum hash rate in order to to get this extra alephium more or less for free right so to me this seems like a really good option if you are into like spec mining just of course keep in mind with any speculative mining coin you know it might go to zero today and it was all a waste so just keep that in mind all right if you enjoyed this video then please give me one of these and if you really like it you can join the channel to help support what i do here it makes a big difference and it really means a lot to me but what you got to do now is you got to click on the next video on the screen because this video is over. You can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, 
go click on that next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Goodbye, bye, bye.